the fatherhood of God and the new family, verse 12. In John chapter 6 and verse 38, Jesus said, For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. In John 17 and verse 18, he said, As the Father has sent me, even so send I you. We have come not to do the will of any man, but the will of the Father who sent Jesus, who sent us. Jesus said, my food is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. John 4, 34. We are told of how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good. Doing good is the will of God. Healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Healing all who were oppressed of the devil is the will of God. God was with him and he went about doing that. In the book of Matthew chapter number 4, verses 20 to 24, Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every manner of sickness and every manner of disease among the people. That is the will of God. Teaching to impart divine knowledge. Teaching to communicate heaven's values. Teaching to communicate what the kingdom is all about and why the kingdom has come. He preached the gospel of the kingdom, the good news of the coming of heaven to this earth. The good news that God has done all that is required to restore mankind to God's image and likeness and to restore man to the heavenly life here on earth. Because the kingdom life is heaven on earth or heaven now, as we call it in this commission. God made Adam in God's image and likeness and God put Adam in Eden. Eden means a place of complete bliss, delight, and peace. Heaven means a place of complete bliss, delight, and peace. So heaven and Eden are one and mean the one and same thing. God made man in his image and likeness. Man was God on earth here. On the Satan stole that from man. So the will of God is still to make man like God. That's why Christ came, to show us who God is like. And then to restore man to the life in the kingdom, the heavenly life now or heaven now. So the will of God is simply restoration. Restore man to God's image and likeness. And then restore it to heaven now in reality. Make every part of the earth like heaven. How? Cast out devils because there's no devil in heaven. Heal the sick. There's no sick in heaven. Let the people be blessed and be given all they need. Restore kingdom wealth, kingdom power, kingdom glory to man. That's all Christ came and did. And he took the 12. He restored them. The 12 lived like Christ. The 12 walked and acted like Christ. Everything Christ did, the 12 did. The 70 did. And he commissioned every other person that would come after them to live like them and to feel like them. The will of the Father is to free man from sin, from sickness, from poverty, from crisis, from every evil work of the devil. So Christ was sent anointed by God and he came to destroy the works of the devil and to get that done he went about doing good healing all who were oppressed of the devil that is the will of God of God the Father so as an ambassador the will of the Father we have been sent to do is to make man exactly like Christ who is exactly like God and to restore man to the life of heaven here on earth. Life of freedom, life of peace, life, life of health, life of prosperity, life of grace, 
righteousness and justice, life of visions and revelations, to make man exactly like God so that man can live and experience all heaven has to offer in this world. That is what Christ came to do. There are many pastors who are erroneously teaching people to struggle, suffer, and die, and then have a hope of heaven. Yes, there is heaven after now because we all are ambassadors. Christ came from heaven. He returned to heaven. But while he was here, he lived and experienced heaven on earth, in hell. He never had any lack. From the, from the period he began to live as God's son, he never had any lack. Whatever Christ had was at his beck and call. He replicated God on earth. He replicated heaven on earth. He went about doing good. He said, if I cast out devils by the Holy Spirit, then the kingdom of heaven has come to you. Matthew 12, 28. If I cast out devils by the finger of God, by the display of God's power, then the kingdom of God has come to you. Luke 11, verse 20. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom, the coming of the God of gods here on earth to manifest heaven here on earth. He preached that. And he demonstrated it by healing the sick, cleansing the lepers, casting out devils, raising the dead, doing whatever God can do. Say, my father is walking and I am also walking. What my father is doing is what I'm doing. Everything Christ did was what God did. Everything God was doing was what, was what Christ was about doing. So our work is very simple. To replicate heaven on earth, for that is the will of God. And he said, when you pray, say, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom of heaven come to this earth. Not let people die and go to heaven. No. Let heaven come and let your will be done on earth now as it is done in heaven. God wants to make heaven on earth real now. God wants to manifest heaven on earth now. That is the will of the Father. And that's what we're here to do. As his ambassadors, no power can stop us. We have all that Christ had to do all he did and once done right now. And by the authority of Christ and in his name to die decree, may whatever Christ did that's your desire to see in your life be done for you today. May every challenge of life that Christ came to destroy and finished, may such things, if you have them around you or your life, be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, May you be free from every evil that is not in heaven. And may you enjoy the reality of the heavenly life now. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget, we are sent to do the will of the Father. And his will is that every human being be restored to God's image and likeness and be restored to life in the kingdom now, the life of heaven on earth. May that be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Peace.